real sugar, an ingredient we all know and love. Ever wonder where it comes from? Real sugar comes from plants, sugar beets, and sugar cane grown on farms, where hardworking families and Mother Nature work together to bring real sugar to your kitchen tables. I think it's vital that people understand where their food comes from. It's easier to connect to the food when you know where it comes from, and you can feel the passion from the farmers. You know, growing the food not only just for your families, but for the whole world, and I just love that connection like corn and carrots, strawberries and tomatoes, sugar's journey begins in the soil. Take a trip to the bead and cane fields with us. Experience the process through the eyes of visitors who walked the fields and rode the tractors for the first time and came away amazed at the simplicity of real sugar. Multi-generation family farmers wait on the weather to tell them it's time and then prepare the soil. Sugar beet seeds take root and grow into healthy plants in cooler regions of the country. Sugarcane sprouts from the whole stalks that are planted and flourish into towering stalks in tropical climates in the southern U.S. As a perennial plant, farmers will harvest for three to five years from just one planting. Just to be out there in the field with the farmers and seeing how it actually goes from farm to table was really rewarding. Sugar's a natural product. It comes from the beet, sugar beet plant. Um, and I think it's important that people get that connection, that it comes from the dirt into the store, and there's all of these important steps along the way. When sugar beets and sugar cane reach maturity, they are carefully harvested with specialized equipment. Sugar beets are transported to sugar factories. Sugar cane is sent to nearby sugar mills before it is finished at the refinery. The familiar looking white sugar you use at home occurs naturally in both sugarcane and sugar beets. It simply needs to be extracted from the plants. Sugarcane undergoes the process of crushing and juicing, extracting its natural sugar, resulting in a sweet, watery juice. Through boiling, filtering, and crystallizing, the syrup is washed and dried, leaving granulated sugar. For sugar beets, slicing, soaking, filtering, and boiling yields a concentrated juice from which sugar is crystallized. I think this is something that a lot of people don't understand, but sugar isn't bleached. It's naturally white. Like I thought it was so many different chemicals and things that were added into the sugar making process, but it's not. Um, so it's actually a very you know, natural process, and I was very surprised to learn about that. It's a lot of hard work, but the thousands of farmers, plant workers, truck drivers, and those who stock grocery store shelves all play a role in bringing us real sugar and the products that contain real sugar. So, whether you're stirring it into your morning coffee or baking it into your favorite recipes, every spoonful of sugar traces its origins back to real plants and real people. Real sugar comes from sugar beets and sugar cane grown on farms. Enjoy.